Hey folks, this is Robert Foley and Jarrett Guzik. What's up, everybody? Jarrett Guzik is the main mastermind behind Living Free. Yep. One and I am one of the helpers. Let's start. Let's talk about how it started. See, I want to break this one down for you guys because this was a really fun one to write. Probably one of our favorite songs that we've written together. Um, and it all started off kind of a funny story. So. And where was it? It was at the. It started at the B, the Bone Wallace Conservatory of Music, which is where we went to school. Um, me and Bobby would play there quite often just for fun in the practice rooms, piano, mess around. Yeah. And one day Bobby just, for some reason, I don't remember all the context, but he gave me just like a key to play, like come up with like some melody or some notes. Yeah. And he said B flat minor. And so all of a sudden, the first thing like I did was I played... And so I was like, wow, that sounds kind of weird together. Those three notes sound weird together, but like it kind of works. And so I added the octave and it sounds even better. Cause that's the main toniker. Correct. And then so for the second chord, I just moved. And so the pinky, I'm playing the middle finger. A three chord. Yep. And then I moved to here. Beautiful and a beautiful six chord there. And it ends with the E flat. Major four chord and minor. One of, if not the, most magical chords in music. <laughs> During the time, 21 Pilots. Shout out to 21 Pilots. They're one of my biggest music influencers. They're just one of my favorite bands. I had the song Mulberry Street by them stuck in my head at the time. It was a fairly new song at the time. Um, and it goes something like this. It goes... got that bum, 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 ba, ba, da. so I had that like rhythm kind of stuck in my head and so I, I kind of just took the rhythm because you are allowed to steal rhythm oh yeah um so I kind of just took the rhythm and added it for my chord progression so I did so I mean it's similar rhythm but the notes are completely different it's in a different key yeah and then I thought I had it but I was like I feel like a little like transitions missing from here here into the next phase so I was like in my head, I was like, I had yum, dum, 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 and so I figured out the notes. So I did, dun, 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 then I went back to here. And then I I chimed in and I said, the second time you do it, it should be. Yeah, so the second time it's the F, and then it goes. Because the F is the fifth of that B flat, but this is a bum, 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 that beautiful tritone. So One of the all, most all, beautiful things so in the music. So all together, it sounds like this. This is a majority of the song right here. With different variations. Cool. So yeah. Awesome. So where did the kind of lyrics come into play? What were we thinking of when we wrote these lyrics? So when I wrote this, um, previous the previous two songs I'd done were kind of more serious. Um, a little more sad. So I kind of want to spice up a little bit, do something kind of fun, just chill. Kind of goofy, really. Um, so... An idea in my head, um, you know, I was a senior, I think I was a senior at the time I wrote this. And so I was kind of thinking about like my whole college career, how I started out, you know, I was only 18. And so I kind of started thinking about like when I was young, you know, when people turn 18, you know, how they act, they act, you know, really young, you know, sometimes stupid, <laughs> oh, goofy, yeah. laid back. I know I did. <laughs> you know, so it was funny. The first, so for the lyrics, the first thing I wrote down and still in my notebook to say, I, I just wrote down, once we hit 18, we listen less. And and that started off the whole song. That that's the first line in the first verse of the song. Once we hit eighteen, we listen less. Yeah. Um. And it just kind of sparked this whole idea. And then after that, just talking about how young kids are just so goofy and kind of you know troubled at eighteen. You know, they do some stupid stuff. You know, we talk about how speeding down the highway. We talk about oh, how yeah. you know we miss classes, skip <laughs> classes. Oh yeah. Um. You know, just doing fun, just stupid kind of stuff. Um. So that's kind of where the lyrics came in. And then Bobby kind of added more of a fun aspect of it so kind of talk about what you kind of added so i kind of added more of a vocal like come on now boys like like so we're all like partying out and we're all you know with the boys or whatever that could be anyone that could, that doesn't have to just be boys you know it's just we're using boys as a gender neutral <laughs> Everyone who's magical. I mean, right. not not me. So you know, so th when I, when we have this musical idea or this video in mind, I'm thinking of maybe having some people playing basketball at courts yeah. and people going out having fun and all people, all and was, people. And that was exactly what I had in mind. So we added the perfect a aspect where it's just fun, laid back, just goofy, just like 
you know, sing along, my friends. Like yeah, sing what, along, my friends. That's like the biggest line. It's, it's, just, it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be anything serious. And I remember my mom and your mom too were like, "What about the girls? What about the girl?" And that's why I say it's we're we're saying boys as a um, like we say guys, like hey guys, you know, what I mean? that, that's how we're boys in it. You know right. what I mean? Okay, well, guys, we're gonna be talking about the bridge now in the song, which um is different. It's got different chords in it, um, but it's kind of it's still got that kind of same driving fun energy to it. So when I was coming up with this, I was kind of struggling at first, and then all of a sudden I sent Bobby this chord progression. So it goes like... Goes like I sent that to Bobby, except he helped me with the last two on those. Like, dun, 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 yeah, so the dun, last two are then. I was really into Neapolitans at the time. I'm still obsessed with them. And then we go this. So we saw it down after. But, but talk about the lyrics for the bridge because I was struggling to write. So I, he was struggling to write some lyrics for the bridge. So this whole silly song, I'm going like I'm talking a lot. It's a lot of vocal yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's almost like talking, not so much just singing constantly. It's, yeah. It's not like rap, but it's... Right. But it's a lot of talking with music. Yeah. So I did the whole thing was a motivational thing, and I said, let's slow it down and not take life too fast. Mm -hmm. Then what do we do exactly after that? Jared yeah, decides slow to slow it down. It down. It Like this halftime kind of feel absolutely and that's jared perfectly painted that text <laughs> and all right guys so this is okay be the so ending. i'm taking credit now because i did this whole ending part by myself <laughs> yeah, yeah but it's really nothing it's really nothing um out of the order well actually it is out of the order but it's not it's nothing you know crazy so what i did is i did this and at first Oh my god, I'm screwing it up. It's kind of this like delicate ending. Yeah, but it's also very jarring in this. Right. And at first, I thought it was too hard to play. So Bobby kind of had to teach me how to play it. Yeah. Because I was playing piano for the so it took me a little bit of practice, but I got it down, and it sounded really good at the end. I thought it was a good... Oh, yeah. You wouldn't expect it, but it, it worked and out. To me, it almost means, like, we're growing up now. This is this rapid transition to being an adult. Yeah. Um, we're getting jobs. We're going places. We're, I don't want to say pranking people, because we're not doing that anymore, but uh, maybe in spirit. And, yeah, Absolutely. Cool. All right, so guys. now we're going to play it for you, and then I'm going to send you a link to the original video on Jarrett Guzik's channel, and you're going to subscribe, well, I'm hopefully <laughs> you're going to subscribe to him, and uh, check out more of his stuff. Yep. See you guys. Okay, yeah, that's my idea. Quickly, you know what I mean? It seems like in these crazy times, there's nothing else to do but cry. through it. I know you will. You found your way in this crazy world, and for that I applaud you. Woo! Come on now, boys. Yeah! Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Three, two, one. Once we hit 18, listen less. Living life without any context. Missing buses, skipping classes with our friends. Never knew what lesson we missed last. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. sing along, my friends. Ooh, ooh, ooh. sing along till the end. Oil. Let's make some bread, boys. Woo! Clap your hands.
hands and stomp your feet. Three, two, one, go. Driving down the road at 95. Looking out for cops as we cruise by. And if we ain't careful, we might die. No calling home for us tonight. So, Slow it down, cause we've got years to paint the town. You're living fast, you're living free, but if you ain't careful, you'll end up like me. Ooh, sing along my friends. this matter to bed.